British Prime Minister Theresa May yesterday reassured fellow European leaders that her government will protect the rights of their citizens who have lived in Britain for five years or more, even after Brexit. May also expressed the desire for a quid pro quo, with UK citizens living in various European nations also having their rights protected. What I'm going to be setting out today is clearly how the United Kingdom proposes to protect the rights of EU citizens living in the UK and see the rights of UK citizens living in Europe protected. German Chancellor Angela Merkel called the declarations a good start, but noted that there was still more that needed to be done. Elsewhere, four Arab states boycotting Qatar over alleged support of terrorism have sent Doha a list of 13 demands to comply to, demands that also include the closure of Al Jazeera television. The list, compiled by Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt and Bahrain, also demand the closing of a Turkish military base in Qatar, severing ties with the Muslim Brotherhood, Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah and Jabhat Fateh al-Sham. In addition, they are demanded to surrender all terrorists within their territory and fulfill all demands in 10 days, failure to which the deal will be void. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Somalia, another suicide attack targeting police officers rocked the capital yesterday. Despite thousands of police, security officials and military intelligence deployed to guard the capital Mogadishu, Al-Shabaab militants managed to attack the Waberi police station, killing seven and injuring 12. Al-Shabaab has carried out two attacks in three days, killing 17 people. And finally, 24-year-old Gambian artist Khadija Sae, who died in the Grenfell fire alongside her mother, has been honoured by the prestigious Tate Britain. Khadija, who had already begun to make a name in London for her convicting art, will join illustrious artists who have their art displayed at the Tate Britain, a museum displaying art from the 1500s until present time. For Citizen Live at One, I'm David Oyuke.